Jigbi. So the name Jigbi named for erratic and jigjacking pattern of bees between the flowers, uh, which will be symbolizing the communication between nodes in a mesh network. I think you all know the mesh network type, types of networking. Um, in that mesh type of network, you will be uh, con uh, communicating the signal or sending the signal between the nodes. Okay. So network components are uh, analogous to tune view uh, drones worker B. So network components, uh, that is the component which uh, we are using in for a uh, communication will be related with your Q in B drones worker B. Okay. So similar to that, uh, it will be working. What Queen B will do? It will be uh, uh, take care of uh, whole control. Okay, whole control on drones and worker B. The same thing will be followed in the networking also, embedded networking also in the GP. So technological uh, standard created for control and sensor network based on the IEEE 802.15.4 standard, it will work. So it is created by Zigbee Alliance. Zigbee is specification for high level communication protocol using small. Uh, the IEEE 802.15.4 standard was completed in May 2003. The Zigbee specification were ratified on 14th December 2004. The Zigbee Alliance announced the public availability of specification 1 on 13th June 2005, much research is still going on with Jigbee also. So it is used for embedded application for low data rates and low power consumption in expensive. That means inexpensive means non-expensive than inexpensive. Uh, uh, here the data rate will be very low for uh, communicating for uh, uh, applying in the embedded networking. And then power consumption also very low and then less expense used for uh, networking. And then small packet networks. That means uh, packet will be very small for uh, sending. Then uh, home entertainment and control also we, you will be using the Zigbee. And then wireless sensor network, you know, Zigbee the, they are using. So IEEE standard 802.15.4 was used in the Zigbee. So this is the IEEE uh, standard. So I think you all the nail know the layers, application layer. So in the application layer, you will be having uh, Mac, Mac na teriyulla. What is Mac? What is Mac? Computer networks la What is Mac? What is Mac? So application layer patina it will be used in the medium, medium access control. Very good. Medium, medium. medium access control. Correct media access control. Now, correct now. Very good. Uh, and then uh, application layer will be used in the user level. Network layer will be used uh, uh, under the control of uh, medium access control as well as uh, the physical layer will be responsible for the uh, frequency ranges. Okay, the bandwidth everything will be controlled taken by the physical layer this is physical layer this one network layer is the application layer okay so th uh, this will be coming in the uh, standards IEEE 802.15.4 uh, different layers which will be used for uh, transmitting the data in the network so you don't want to go very deep in this part uh, devices types, so three types, Zigbee coordinator, Zigbee router, and Zigbee 
n devices so what does zigbee do so zigbee is designed for wireless control and sensor so it operates in personal area network and device to device network and connectivity between small packet devices it controls uh, uh, flight switches thermostat appliance etc okay so for controlling purpose you will be using the zigbee okay zigbee networking will be very popular in the home appliances for uh, switching and then zigbee frequencies so the zigbee will be operated in the frequency range uh, that is uh, ism 2.4 gigahertz global band at 250 kilobit per second and then 868 megahertz european band la in the range la da use pannuvanga at the rate of uh, 20 kilobit per second and then 915 megahertz in north american band uh, at the data rate 40 kilobit per second okay these are the ranges of frequency used in the zigbee how zigbee works so here the zigbee uh, will have the networking topology structure as star network cluster tree mesh type okay so these three structure will be available topology type will be available in the networking and the network coordinator routers end device will be used for uh, communicating with the nodes So this is the mesh networking okay so you can communicate from the transmitter side through the mesh networking to the uh, other side so this is a uh, node mesh type nodes here the use of going to have the control okay so this will be communicated through this node to the equipment so equipment will be operated or controlled through the switch okay so the equipment may be light or kala illa or oven edo or anything else okay any device you can have the communication with uh, zigbee through the zigbee network see the how it is given how the nodes are connected see so while you are connecting so the nodes will be connected the red line indicate the connection so light will be on okay based on this it will be working okay while you are owning this switch you will be connecting the nodes these nodes red color indicator nodes will be connected so through that this light um, will be switch on then zigbee features so low duty cycle provide long battery life so duty cycle is nothing but uh, your clock pulse 50 percentage uh, or minimum 50 percentage will be taken for the uh, for um, making on the system okay that's why it will be having the long battery that means long life and then uh, support for uh, multiple network topology is star and mesh type up to 65000 nodes on your network can be connected okay through the zigbee then 128 bit encryption provide secure connection so 128 bit can be uh, encrypted okay i think you all know encrypted uh, in network security you will be learned encryption and de decryption so encryption na it will be providing the uh, security code with your uh, information okay which will be providing the end to end encryption okay so the user uh, between the receiver and transmitter alone it will be carrying the message okay it will not send to other person so that will be uh, that security will be provided by the encryption method and then collision avoidance Okay, it will not be collide with your uh, other network, other uh, signals. It will not be uh, affected. Okay, there is collision avoidance, and then uh, this is research in uh, Zigbee. Uh, uh, research in Zigbee was conducted in different fields. 
that is wireless and sensor network wireless and sensor network means uh, you will be having the sensor uh, device uh, some in somewhere else you will be operating and controlling uh, from the distance okay in a, through the wireless medium there you will be using and then wireless communication neuroengineering uh, neuroengineering uh, you have you learned neuroengineering This is the advanced in a pa building neuro correct Amama. very good. The next Jigby and the market. how it is uh, utilized in the user side so uh, expected to hit the market full force in 2006 companies have already invested millions so this was uh, very much developed in the market side that means uh, application oriented only okay jigby uh, products development kits sensor transceiver modules so Jigbee's future, so six-way Jigbee will change your home. That means you can operate on control all the equipments, or home appliance uh, from the one place. Okay, see here, six-way Jigbee will change your home. So he is the person operating uh, all the equipment from the one place, okay, without moving. Uh, this is available nowadays. Okay. 